Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I want to talk to you today about the importance of following a model. Um, it's almost like following a recipe if you're trying to create a, a great meal or something like that. Um, so, I'll tell you a little story about myself. When I wanted to get really strong, I, uh, when I stopped doing competitive bodybuilding, right before I started doing CrossFit back in 2007, uh, I joined uh, my now friend Steve's uh, gym at Iron Sport in Glen Olden, Pennsylvania, up by the airport if you're from Philly here. Um, and when I went in there, every dude that was serious about lifting was, you know, squatting five or 600 pounds, deadlifting easy 600 pounds. Most of these guys were closing in on seven or above. Uh, I think now they have a guy gunning for a thousand pounds there. Um, point of this is, is that I knew I was in an environment, I was around people that have achieved what I've already, have already achieved what I want to achieve, and be, that was to be really strong at that time. Now, needless to say, I went in there with, you know, mid 400, low 400 pound deadlift, and I was well above 500 in a very short period of time. It's the fastest that I had added gains to my strength numbers. Um, even to this day. I'm, I'm stronger than I was back then, but even to this day. So, point here is, pick a model, even pick a role model um, that you want to follow. It doesn't have to be the person or the system you're going to follow for the rest of your life, but don't try to reinvent the wheel. Probably whatever it is you're trying to achieve has already been done, whether it's losing body fat, quitting smoking, um, you know, starting a meditation practice, whatever it is, pick a model and follow it. Alright guys.